Hi YouTube, um, today I'm going to be showing you uh, another vis Visual Basic 2010 or 2008 tutorial. Um, how to make a notepad today. Alright, first thing you want to do is open Visual Basic up. Uh, second thing you want to do, new project. Windows Form application. Name it. Alright, um, first thing you want to do is take the error list out, or if you do have it or don't, doesn't matter, just get it out. Um, resize it, first thing you want to do is do a text box, drag it on out of here. It's going to be like this, so what, what you want to do is click this little arrow right here, do multi-line, make it fat. Uh, click it, resize it, tweak it, whatever you want. Nice and pretty. Um, second thing you want to do is, is put a, where should be? Um, menu strip. What you want to do is you want to type file. Open. save or do it in any order I prefer this order make it nice and simple make a um, button move this down a little bit make it nice and even you can put this wherever all right name this the button one name it clear Now let's start coding. Um, double click open. I'm gonna have the code in into the description. So uh, let's see what we got. Um, I'm gonna have a link actually because this is gonna be a lot to type. Um, just copy this right where I have this. Do not copy this. That will screw you up. Um, copy that. The first thing is this. Copy this code. Oops. Um, this one, paste it right there. I know you won't have any problems, so, well, you actually might, you have to delete one end sub. That'll be good. Um, second thing, double click save. Go down to this, and you click this. Paste it in there. Um, third thing is, for button one, for the clear, I mean, you could, if you really wanted to, you can put it in, um, I mean, you can edit this once you get it, if you copy it, you can say, um, I'm just gonna keep it at this for now, all text has been cleared, uh, and then you just wanna copy that, um, open this up, go over here, the, the button you have clear, double click the button, put that in there, save all, save it, um, bug it, now you'll have, I mean you could tweak it, just tweak it and everything, file, alright, uh, just type something, how about this, um, I'm going to use the auto typer I did in previous tutorials. You can just type in there if you want. I'm just using this. Um, let it type in there. Then you hit file. Save. Should open up this save file. Uh, just put, I'm going to put it right on my desktop. Uh, just name it test. Now it should, I like you just saw, it appeared on my desktop. Uh, you click it, opens it up. There you go. There's that. And I mean, you can do it like, and there's that. All text has been cleared. You can edit that, like I was showing you before, but I didn't. Um, and then what you can do is, all files. Uh, let's do this. Um, 
I don't feel like doing any script right now, HTML script. Uh, just, just do this again. Stop, file, save. Go to all files. And then just do test.html or htm, whatever you prefer. It'll put it on there. Open it up, and there it is. I mean, you could that's how you could make... It's just like... Rec Excuse me, it's just like regular notepad. It's just a little nicer. And this right here, what, look at my other videos that I have under O0Gamer. And you can find how to do this too if you didn't watch that tutorial yet. So thank you very much for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.